So the more aware we are, the more we can choose. So again, as you're sitting here, your brain is going, oh, wow, she busted me on that one. Oh, wow, she just named that one. Oh, boy, she's calling me down on that one. Oh, gosh, wow, she just acknowledged me for that one, okay? So the brain is really beginning to look at, wow, the chemistry that I just created in here is now going to need to shift because she's beginning to change her consciousness, her awareness, when we are in alignment with our wholeness, when we're in alignment with our gut, our heart, and our head, not the other way around, our cerebral cortex that says, do this, do that, be worried, be resistant, get distracted, don't want to be here, really, I paid for this, you know, that part, you know, but the gut that says, Phew, man, I got this, I feel this, I am this, oh my gosh, thanks for reminding me. And the heart that has the deepest, truest, most full wisdom that, by the way, talks, speaks, operates independently. This is real research independently from the brain that it actually knows it senses, it feels, it makes decisions. It has a higher intelligence and it has a greater intuition than our head. So when we're aligned, gut, heart, head, and I'll say a little bit about the head. We have the feeling center of the brain called the amygdala. Also, we have, you know, the Olympic brain that does that as well. But the first place is the, is the feeling center of the brain, the amygdala. And so that part of our brain says, oh, worry. Oh, gosh, my neighbor's moving around. Oh, gosh, it's cold in here. Do you think we're gonna, they're going to turn down the air? Oh, well, I'm warm. Well, you know what? Whatever it is, you know, it's that part of you that kind of wants to grumble, that part of you that's really trying to protect you from all this new information or from getting up so early or from, you know, what I'm saying or, or from the things that you experience outside your world. That it's actually always in kind of fight, flight, or freeze. And here's the not so good news. Most of us have been in a world that is so fast paced, that is so stressful, that is so full of so many demands, even if we love the demands, right? Even if, you know, we're like, wow, great things. Like it's stressful. We have a couple here who's newly married and did you guys have a stress-free wedding? No. no. <laughs> Was it like, no. Everything, you know. Uh-huh, yeah. And then, and even though, so it's a good thing, right? It's like something, gosh, who doesn't want love and union and all the things that weddings are made of, right? Bonnie knows about these wedding things, right? <laughs> <laughs> Elope. <laughs> so even though there's some good things, you know, how many of you moved here recently? Yeah, yeah, okay. Was it was it stressless? Super easy, no problem, everything arrived well and just landed, no drama, right? <laughs> Not so, right? Okay. Yeah, so even the things that are good in our lives that we're moving towards, they, can all, they also invite that amygdala, that fight or flight. 